All right, so today I get to introduce you to one of my favorite Korean movies of all time, My Sassy Girl. Now, this movie stars the very beautiful Chun ji Yun and the really funny Cha tae Yun. And basically, it's a very funny romantic comedy. It's kind of old, but still a really good movie. Really, really recommend it. But what we're going to do today is introduce you to Korean culture and society through this movie. Okay, so our first scene involves a subway train. Now, subways and buses all over the world have priority seating. That's for the elderly, the disabled, or pregnant people, you know, people that really need the seats. So a lot of people won't even sit there. Even if the subway is super crowded and those seats are empty, a lot of people will just stay standing up. And a lot of times you might be thinking to yourself, oh, I'll just sit down and get up when somebody comes. But in Korea, it's usually not the case. Most people just don't sit there at all. But of course, there are sometimes people that do sit there, like this manly gentleman in the pink shirt. But the reason people usually try not to sit there is because it's totally not uncommon to get yelled at. Yeah. Now this doesn't happen all the time. And of course, this girl is a movie character and she is straight up crazy. But sometimes people do yell at each other for sitting at the wrong seat. It's more of a respect your elders all together Korea, let's all respect all of our elders together kind of thing. And even respecting elders, this is also another common scene that you'll see throughout Korea. <laughs> <laughs> so not just with the seats, it's also helping with luggage and carrying heavy things. So a lot of times in Korea, younger people will help total strangers that are older, elderly, you know, carry heavy things or, you know, do things that they might need help with. And that's one of my favorite things about Korea. Okay, our next scene involves a hotel room. Our two main characters end up there through some funky circumstances, and while they are there... Okay, maybe none of that happened. Just gotta watch and see what does. But what does actually happen is the police come, they take out their guns, they point at the guy, they say, freeze, stick your hands up! Now, all joking aside, this man is completely naked. So you can see where there's a conflict of interest. But we have nothing to introduce about nakedness. Although, kinda wish we did. Other than that, what we're trying to show you is that guns in Korea are totally illegal. 100% you're going to jail, it's not a good thing. Nobody has guns. And even the cops, they don't even have real guns. Maybe some of the higher ranking cops do have guns, but the regular donut eating, pop eating? Cops have guns with no bullets. Instead, <laughs> baby powder? I don't know what's in there. Okay, our next scene involves our main character coming back home after spending a night out. He's been out all night, he didn't call his mom, and that's a big problem. That's because in Korea, most people live with their parents until they get married. Now, in some parts of the world, people that still live with their parents, even if they're adults, might be considered losers. But in Korea, it's just totally normal to live with your parents until you get married. So here in this scene, we could see Konu get his ass beat by his mom. Now, we already have a video on Korean style punishments. Here, we just want to cover the fact that Korean people live with their parents usually until they get married. So even Korean people that are in their 30s, their senior managers, they have tons of money. Sometimes they'll still be living with their parents. And this is just totally normal. But getting beat up by your mom? Well, I think that's universal.
Our next scene involves games and punishments. Now we're not talking about punishments by moms. We're talking about punishment with just friends. You know when you're a kid and you play games with your friends? <laughs> And you set up a punishment for a loser to do. The thing with Korean punishments is that they're pretty much all physical. The most popular one is this one. Uh, well, this one's not very common. But a lot of games that you'll play, you get slapped on the wrist, you get flicked in the forehead, you get this all up in your forehead. It's a lot of physical punishments. So that's about it for Korean culture through My Sassy Girl. Is there anything else that you didn't understand about the movie? Let us know in the comments and we'll get back to you. Later. This one was my mom's favorite. Sundra! Sometimes you have to watch them. Sundra! Or you might have an experience like this. Excuse me, where's the subway station? Some people like to shake it so there's a tornado. Uh. Sona, I got you, girl. <laughs> <laughs>